What is up friends? Very excited to be showing you about this tabs plugin, this new tabs plugin that I have. There's a lot going on. I want to show you a bunch of new styles that we have for the plugin and then a bunch of features. But first, let's get started with just some of the basics, like how the, how you get this thing installed if you've never used it. Um, most, a lot of times if you're building tabs, you got to build it from scratch. You got to like throw in the HTML and CSS and do all that stuff. This plugin just pulls in the content from a portfolio collection on your website. So this is our tabs right here. And you'll notice the content in here over on my website, I have this portfolio collection right here. And each item within that portfolio collection corresponds to the tab that's in here. And then whatever content we have within that portfolio item, it just gets pulled right into our tab right there. So that is just how the installation works. It's very seamless. It's very simple to get set up and you can create as many of these tabs as you want. Okay. So that's really nice about the installation. It makes it really easy. It makes it really easy for you to customize it as well. So another thing that's just right out the box, that's really nice that of course you have to get this working is just how this looks on mobile. So I'm just going to reduce my screen a little bit. You see immediately we get this nice little left and right, uh, it slides a little bit and we get these arrow indicators that tell you there's more content on the left and right side. It'll also pull the right tab into focus. And then if we even get smaller over here, we get this nice little drop down for, for the really small devices where you can tab between our different items. So that's just out of the box. That is how this looks, but you can customize and style this however you like. You can make the whole tab always uh, that select bar, whatever you want. So now let's jump into some of the different styles that we have. This is the base style where we have this pill just moving left and right. It looks really nice. And then we also have vertical tabs, which is the same thing, but with this pill, this is what we had on a previous version of the plugin, very popular. So we kept it in here. And again, this pill just sort of moves up and down on our bar right there. Now, another fun one is this underline. This is a lot more simple and sleek, and we still have a little bit of this indicator line that sort of morphs and grows to the size of the active tab. So that's a really fun one. And then of course we got it working on vertical tabs as well. That same idea. Again, all these are very simple on the installation page. I just have some copy and paste code that you can quickly get this up and running. Here's another style. If you only have a few, if you have too many tabs in here, this might get a little wonky, uh, but if you only have a few tabs, getting these evenly spaced, evenly sized tab buttons is kind of a nice style. This was another one. This is a new addition to this plugin. And I really kind of like this. I saw this on a bunch of other tabs throughout the internet, throughout the webs. And this was a fun one where you still have that pill moving left and right, but it's all sort of contained in there in the tab, tab nav container there. So here's another really exciting addition to this. We've made it really easy to add images to our tabs right here. These images again, correspond to our portfolio collection thumbnails. So it's really easy to add the images and update the images. And by default, they're gonna stack like this where the images is, is on top of the tab text but then we also can make them inline like this. And of course, this is going to work as well with our vertical tabs and with our vertical inline tabs. So you got just a bunch of different styles you can choose from right out the box. I should also mention, as you've probably noticed, the background color changes for these sections and the styles of these tabs adapt automatically to whichever color theme your tab is in. So it makes it really easy to use this wherever you'd like. So there are also some additional features like the hover over. So you can't, you might not be able to notice this as much on a video, but you don't have to necessarily click. You can just hover over the different items. One of the uh, uh, fan favorites from the previous one is of course a sticky nav. So as I scroll, the nav becomes sticky as we scroll up and down and you'll notice how it sort of immediately adjusts to our scroll back of our header. It'll give it space there. So that's a really fun one. All of these features work on any of the styles I just showed you as well. This is another really big one that people were having. I've added a little header up here so we can see the effect a little bit. But notice my URL up here. As I click these different tabs, it's going to put inside the URL the ID of whichever tab I am clicking on right here. And what's great about this is that I can now grab this publisher style. I can grab that URL, copy it. 
and we'll paste it into a new window. You could share this URL with a friend and it'll immediately open the publisher style and scroll down to that one open tab. So this was a really fun little feature to add. Uh, another fun one, swipe to change. This was very uh, popular. You can click and drag. Of course, this works on mobile too. So you can swipe left and right. That was a fun one. Uh, and then that's, you know, all these others, you can play around with these others. We got some buttons that you can add. We made it really easy to add. This was another feature request to add next tab, previous tab buttons inside. So if you have a long scrolling tab, like I have right here, you can add these buttons at the end that'll move you to the next tab. Um, bunch of features we've added. All of this is on the installation page. I've got a bunch of documentation to show you how to get this up and running. And then of course, if you have any questions, you can get in touch with our amazing support team. So let us know if you have any questions about this and I hope you enjoy the plugin.